uh, also for you, new at 530. State police, they're now investigating one of their own after questions about a crash last month. A sergeant was coming home from a brewery when he crashed a cruiser, but state police apparently never conducted a field sobriety test. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live right now. He has more details for us at 530 on this investigation. Mike. Mark, they weren't able to do that field sobriety test because of Sergeant John McDonald's injuries, but that also may not matter. That's because if he consumed any alcohol, he shouldn't have been driving that police car. There's a three-level investigation going on from the motor vehicle criminal and internal affairs investigation. State police have opened up an internal affairs investigation into a September 25th crash in Southbury. One of the drivers involved, State Police Sergeant John McDonald, who left a retirement party in Oxford for a co-worker. According to the accident report, McDonald drove through a stop sign on Airport Road in Southbury, colliding with a car traveling on Route 188. McDonald and two other people were taken to a hospital. State police were never able to test McDonald's sobriety, in part because he refused treatment at a hospital, including a blood test. Somebody with visible injury or complaining of injury, that takes precedence to a field sobriety test at that point. And as an investigating officer, you would hope to get the medical records at the hospital. He refused treatment at that point when he got to the hospital. But this zero tolerance policy says state employees cannot consume alcohol or drugs prior to driving a state vehicle. Really it's a wake up call for anyone driving a state or municipal vehicle of the trust on the responsibility that everyone has in driving these vehicles on or off duty. State police hope to wrap up the investigation quickly. Obviously we're trying to expedite the investigation as quickly as, as possible as uh, there has been some concern about it obviously. Now, we also asked if McDonald violated any department policy when he was able to avoid a sobriety test altogether. That was unclear. In the meantime, McDonald has been able to return to duty and he even has a new vehicle while the investigation is ongoing. Reporting live from Middletown, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.